So you're a Go developer and you're looking for a way to develop web apps. You're looking for the most efficient way and the most performant way to actually develop your web applications. Now I'm talking about web applications, I mean the front end in this context. Let me present you the GOAT stack. Yes, the greatest of all time. The stack obviously uses a modern tech. It's complementary to Go programming language using the most efficient Go template engine called Go Temple. And you can find this at, at AH Temple. Now this template engine actually allows you to render and use your HTML inside your Go files. You will write your components using the temple key in .temple files and writing it in a similar syntax to this one where you actually provide the name for your components and inside the code brackets render your HTML. As you can see we are defining a button and this button will take two arguments, will take a content which is an interface and it will take a on click js which is a string i want you to take a look at the body of the button tag so this is the button tag with all its attributes and classes now inside of the button tag you can see that we have a go syntax condition as you can see we are getting the title from the content so we are saying if the content of type string you get the title out of this string which will be the actual content and then you would render another component as shown here with the add symbol. This add symbol is the way that you can render another Go temple component inside your current Go temple component, if you will, for, you know, component reusability, more component-based development. Now, if it's not of type string, what's explained here in else if, so if the component is not actually a string, we will do another condition. So if it says actually a components of type com temple component then we're going to render that component right away and alpine.js provides us a way to write our interactivity right inside our temple components inside our html with inline um, logic binding variables and uh, listeners that you can directly implement right inside your html so your string here for example our string in on click js would be the function that would actually be triggered when a person or a user click that button. Bind it with Tailwind CSS, which uses utilities classes, small utility classes to design the web or the components. You will find a complete solution called the GOAT stack. And this is a GOAT component, which means it has everything you need in just one file, one component. You can, you know, do whatever you need in terms of interactivity, styling, and actual um, logic and data right inside one file and then this file will be compiled and into a go file that you can use in your go server site application or you can write it to an html file and use it as a static site so this is the power of goat stack and it's explained right away in its modern stack that it uses other problems that this stack would solve um, including obviously we mentioned a few of them but we have also easier component-based UI development in Go, not matched. There's no other HTML template engine for Go programming language that will allow you to get to this component-based UI development in Go. It has much better performance over the traditional Go templates and also has better integration with Go's type system, simplified server-side rendering as mentioned, and will reduce polybrate code and enhance code reusability. So the more you actually develop and write with this stack, the more it's easier to actually build and finish the applications. If you're not new to the web development world, you probably heard of Tailwind, CSS, Alpine.js, and even Go uh, AH Temple. But let me hit you with some facts about this stack that we are using in the Goat stack. So it's actually the dev's choice, as Go is one of the most loved programming language in the world. Alpine.js is a lightweight JavaScript framework that has surpassed 20k stars and it's used by companies like Netlify, Uber and Combase. It's a very lightweight and it's very uh, powerful in terms of interactivity on the client side. Now, Tailwind CSS is no brainer for when it comes to styling in modern web development world. It has over 1 million weekly downloads on NPM and has reached over 90% satisfaction rate among developers. So the combination of Go, Tailwind, and Alpine.js actually attracted a growing number of developers 
and a lot of companies actually now are looking for a modern efficient developer friendly web development solution and we have the perfect combination with go and ash temple creating the goat stack now we're going to take a look into some features that this stack will mainly provide over any other front-end stack or framework that would, you would actually use to develop your web apps an overview of these features we have performance hot reloading simplicity and flexibility in terms of performance it combines the features of go program language being blazing fast compilation and runtime efficient concurrent processing and smart memory management and also combines it with the ah temple efficiency with type safe system and we have compile time error checking optimized template rendering and all this um, useful features that allows you to have a lot of performance out of the box now in terms of flexibility you could use this stack with whatever um, back-end solution you could have so this is a strictly front-end stack it's not a framework but it would replace other front-end frameworks like react Vue, um, or any other front-end framework because it has a stack that would actually act as a framework to build components based ui that you can use to build your applications you could use it in any way um, that you would like you can use it to create static sites with hot reloading so you can actually develop faster and you could use it also to create server side applications so if you have if you want to build a robust performant web application and you have for example a lot of uh, apis you created or microservices with go and you want to implement them in the into a, an application in a much performant and simple way you could use the code stack also to create your server side applications and you can also use a hybrid solution or a hybrid approach where you can serve a part of the application as static sites and another part of the application as a server site now in terms of database or in terms of other services that you would need obviously in a full web app Godstack doesn't restrict you to use one service or one tech into building your application you can use whatever backend solution you would like to use i would recommend from my experience using a backend as a service solution so things like firebase superbase or even pocketbase for smaller projects would work perfectly fine with this stack in terms of simplicity in addition to the simplicity of go syntax and the simplicity of the temple logic we have also uh, the simplicity of alpine js where it allows you to write functionality and interactivity right inside your html file and also combined with tailwind css which allows for styling so you you don't have to like switch between files if you want to like edit your styles or edit your interactivity it all happens in one file under .temple files and those files will then um, compile into go files for performance and then you can render it in a whatever way you want in terms of hot reloading this will be useful when you're developing static sites using this code stack and i have this make file that i have a, you know a few commands that i've written that actually helped me through my workflow in different projects one of them is the compile keyword which uses the tailwind css temple and run keywords as mentioned or as shown here the tailwind css actually runs the cli compiler or that will compile our styles and the temple will generate the actual go files out of our temple files and then we are binding this with vite using bun obviously i'm running these using bun running vite to serve our html files coming from temple generate with our styles that comes from tailwind css now i have also a watch keyword as you can see here and this is a file watcher like a, a way to watch any change in the files and do the compiling right away without me having to you know trigger anything in the cli so it would automatically watch any changes in the files under the dot temple under the components folder and will actually run the make compile which will compile the files and then uh, update them or update the actual html files which will then trigger the vite watcher to uh, apply these changes in the browser and you will have a simple and very effective hot reloading that will help a lot in terms of building static site using this um, goat stack i encourage you all of you to try out this stack and you can do that right now today uh, if you visit goat.morethancoder.com you will find a guide that will help you cloning the repository install all the dependencies and 
uh, run your first project using the code stack. I'm excited to hear your opinion about this stack in the comments below. And if you have any questions in terms of what tech stack does it use or how everything is combined together, don't be shy to write that down in the comment section below. You can also go to morethancoder.com without the goat, like just morethancoder.com and you will find a gift there when you sign up to the newsletter. Now at the end of this video, I would encourage you to subscribe, give a like to this video if you loved this stack and um, you know, enable the notification bell. I will be also uploading more tutorials about this tech stack in terms of Go tutorials or AHTemple tutorials, AlpineJS or Tailwind CSS. And we will also use the compilation of code stack so i will be also providing more code stack related tutorials this was at from more than coder goodbye